Aidan McClendon is an Australian politician with enormous experience. Born in Darwin, he's a leader, been a leader since high school, a talented musician, a soldier, has a degree in government and politics, and at 17 years of age, was the youngest Australian political candidate ever. In 2009, he became a member of the Queensland Parliament, then founded the Queensland Party, merged with Catter's Australian Party and led that. He had a short break from politics, but has now come back as Deputy Leader of the Victoria, Victorian Freedom Party and candidate for Mulgrave, Premier Daniel Andrews' seat. Hello, Aidan. G'day, Ben. How are you? Thanks for having me. You've been involved in leadership and politics really since your work experience at age 15. Is there anything that Aidan McClendon hasn't done? Um, yeah, I haven't beaten Dan yet. Um, <laughs> that's on my to-do list. I actually swore myself out of politics about, oh, what, now eight years ago? So up stumps in 2013 to come back to my roots, which was Victoria, because I was raised in um, Whittlesey in, in country Victoria. Uh, I reinvented myself and became a teacher. Uh, but what I experienced, um, and I later did my double masters in education and leadership management, so I actually oversaw uh, 80 schools in the Catholic system uh, in the last two years. And what I saw uh, happening between with the children, the parents, the teachers, I knew it was in me that I couldn't just sit back. I, I found it was in a duty to get back in uh, and do, throw everything I've got at it because so many people have lost everything. Uh, and to me, it's personal. Uh, this is why I've sat for 40 days outside Daniel's office. Uh, it need, the truth needs to be said, and I'm, I'm going to run straight towards the enemy, say it as it is, because I've actually got nothing to lose now, so I think Victoria needs a whole new system of uh, politics. You were born in the Northern Territory, um, spent early part of your life in Victoria, a uh, large part again in Queensland. Now you're back in Victoria as leader, a leader of the Freedom Party. Why have you come? Yeah, well, I think um, all dad's side was in Victoria, all mum's side was in Queensland. So we sort of, we but we did, you know, we sort of did half the years there, half the years here. So I'm sort of, a, I'm a bit of an Australian at large, to be honest. Born in Darwin, spent some time in Canberra, um, but I love Australia, and I think I, I think in the, growing up in so many different states and territories, it's given me an appreciation of, you know, the spirit of Australia. Uh, I am sick and tired of division, um, even from you know the division that the, the government's put onto us especially with our Indigenous brothers and sisters. They use these things to divide us. Um, you know, whether it's uh, cultural, sexuality, whatever it is, they'll try and constantly divide us uh, and attack our belief system. And the most dangerous thing uh, for any government is someone with a higher belief system. So, and here we are. So we're a threat. <laughs> the Freedom Party is already making big waves in Victorian politics. What is... Might come back this way a bit. There's a side of people. It's good. What is freedom and why do we need it? Look, freedom is it's people. It's not just a commodity that you can sort of just say, "Oh, we've got it now. We've got it for good." The reality is, freedom today is more important than it's ever been, and it'll be even infinitely more important tomorrow onwards. Because our freedom of uh, thought, speech, and movement—they are the three critical things that are under attack. What we think, what we say, and what we do, or how we move. Uh, we saw in the last two years was completely shattered and and there's a lot of similarities with what's happened in a lot of communist countries over the years and victoria is no exception so i think when those three fundamental elements of our being are under attack we have a duty and a sense of responsibility to protect it and you know this is a very pertinent interview on remembrance day uh, those men and women who actually fought for our freedoms uh, that we, we have a responsibility now to continue those on not just for ourselves but for, for our incoming children yeah. Now, Aidan, you're the candidate, Freedom Party candidate also for the lower house seat of Mulgrave. Why Mulgrave? So, in Mulgrave, the 80 schools that I was looking overseeing during COVID, eight of those were actually in Mulgrave, and I've actually taught in Mulgrave. So I've taught in both the public and the Catholic system in Mulgrave. I understand uh, what has happened. It's been neglected for 20 years. Daniel's been the member now since 2004, uh, sorry, 2002. Um, and what we've seen, uh, I know I'm 20 minutes south of Mulgrave, but to me, as I said, this is personal. I've seen families torn apart. I've seen this two-tiered society been introduced. Uh, I've seen neighbour fight neighbour, families divided, communities pitched against each other. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm a hop, step and skip away from the person that's responsible for this. Uh, so yeah, it's personal and I, I find it very fitting that this is my calling. Uh, the outcome is not my concern, it's the objective and that's to ensure that he's not returned to office and I'll do everything in my 
you know, everything humanly possible to ensure that I can make as much inroads uh, in, into de-seeding N. Mm. Uh, it's only two weeks until the election. What can Victorians do to help you and the Freedom Party? Look, the best thing they can do, it, it's, it's, um, it's guerrilla warfare in, in, in war terms, um, but in Australian terms, we call it push telegraph. The reality is we don't have the millions of dollars that the two parties have. Unfortunately, the Liberal Party has been complicit in what's happened due to their silence. Uh, we have seen two heads of the same creature. Uh, they've operated like corporations. You know, the, the Coles and Woolworths, we don't need that anymore. We need you to tell people, please go to our website, um, freedomparty.net.au. Go to the website, please sign up, tell people we're here. You know, we're here to pr protect our Victoria, our jobs, our homes and our families. And they're the three building blocks of a successful society. Our jobs are under attack, our families are infinitely under attack, and of course our homes are getting further and further away for the next generation to be able to ever afford one. So we're going to stand up. It's a bread and butter, get back to basics, and the education system needs an overhaul. You know, our energy system is the next big thing on the horizon that's going to be compromised and drip fed to us like peasants, and it's going to go through the roof. So these are these are day-to-day -day life issues, and even and right from here, 10 minutes from the office here, we have 50,000 people at Food Bank that depend on food every day. It's an absolute disgrace. The gap between haves and have-nots is coming quickly, and please support the Freedom Party uh, because we are, I'm telling you now, we are the positive alternative. We'll tell you as it is, no one's paying us off. We've got nothing to lose here, straight from the heart. Aidan McClendon is Deputy Leader of the Victorian Freedom Party and candidate for the lower house seat of Mulgrave. Thank you, Aidan, and good luck. Good on you, Pete. Keep it up. Good work. Come here. Well done.